Hello people, Pazza here, welcome back to Via for Sale, the city of the past. Ooh, the ghost girl went inside. Me somewhere. This must be her house. But it's down the street from where Evelyn lived. So Evelyn's house, that's where she held her own exhibits. Inside her house. Hello kitty. And off she goes. Attention, due to the curfew, it's strongly recommended that all citizens avoid being outside. Do not approach the statues from the mayor. Hmm, and we got an empty birdcage. Dreamcatcher, the bottom part. Hmm, so I see the word evil written outside the door. That's the girl's house. People here don't much care for Amelia. Stone River, number one. Can we go inside? Oh, uh, just my luck, the valve is gone. Uh, we do have a valve. It looks like we need another one here. Yeah, the water is blocking our way. Electrified water. That's why we can approach the door. Hey, morphing garbage can. And, ooh. <laughs> Creepy doll, looks like a good place to hang a dream catcher. It's not complete. So antenna. And let's look at the picture. How many pawns do we need? Two? Two mom from Amelia. Hmm. I need something to hold the pieces together. Sixteen? Wait, is it the same house? Yes. Oh, uh, I see the number 16, but here is number 1. Why was the number changed? So, can we go... Yeah, Evelyn's house. The flowers have been neglected. And what's with all the creepy statues? Did Evelyn make this herself? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Rows are scared of loud noises. And this one here. <laughs> lying in the pond. Whoa! I think you smoke too much, buddy. So, empty basket. Should get rid of all the moss and scrape them off. Oh, uh, too dark to see. I see a clock face on the wall. A pretty shape. A locked box. Number two, Stone River. One and two. Hmm, you know the two houses are so far away. What about the ones in between? What numbers do they have? Interesting. Hello. Ooh, second valve. Right there. Anyone home? Oh, that's Frank. Can I help you? And his mistress. I'm Emma Roberts, a journalist investigating the strange events here in Eastwood. I have a few questions for you about Amelia Jones. I told you journalists everything I already know. Did you two frame the little girl? Do you believe Amelia killed your wife? It's hard to believe, I realize, but yes, I do. You see, Louise, she's my wife now. She saw Amelia run away from the house with Evelyn's jewels that night. When the police searched the girl's bedroom, they found the jewels. They also found a drawing she'd done of Evelyn burning in a fire. So Louise, the eyewitness, the mistress, and now the wife. I think that's a good enough reason not to trust her. <laughs> Frank, we don't have time for this. See? Look, we're in a hurry to leave. I'm sure you could talk to Sophia Jones about this. She's Amelia's mother. She lives just down the street. Don't want to bother them, but I'll be back. Of course I'll be back. Now, a second valve. I think we can drain the water now and proceed into the little girl's house. And... A sealed baggie. Hmm, a hard shaped locket. This inside the bag. 
angel's head with a really, really wide grin. Doesn't look like an angel to me. Looks more like the devil. To my beloved wife, Evelyn. On our anniversary. Hmm, so this is from Frank. Frank and Evelyn. It seems strange to toss a family heirloom like this. Why not just burn the notes and pictures and keep the locket? I guess someone wanted to erase the memory. Hmm. Now, can we go in? Yes. Who are you? Well, hello. You are Amelia's mother. I'm a journalist. My name is Emma. Not this again. I'm so tired of journalists. So what happened to your little girl? Where is she now? Did she die? Come on, answer my questions. Oh, she gave her Amelia's drawing, yes. Let's refresh her memories. Here's one of Amelia's drawings. Sometimes I still feel her presence. I can't leave this town, even though I hate it. Because I keep thinking she's going to come home. Tell me more about her. She was only 10 when it happened. She'd always had such a strange gift. She could predict the future. She described what would happen by drawing it. She was just trying to warn people about the future, but instead they thought she caused bad things to happen. You know, I don't blame the other people at all. I can see why they are afraid of her. I I'm sorry. This is bringing back bad memories for me. You'll have to excuse me, but feel free to have a look at her room if it'll help. Okay. Explore Sophia's house. Whoa. Well, hello, Sophia. I didn't oh. Do it, Emma. it wasn't my fault. Yikes. I guess she died. The question is how and why. So, Amelia's room? Uh, an elephant, a fan, and a reef. Now, where's the elephant? Uh, right here. Nutcracker, his head is missing. The kitty cat. Hmm, so Frank's face has been crossed out. Oh, uh, this needs cleaning. What can I use? Sewing machine. A cub bell. That's the one. Is that a bell? That looks like a bell to me. Hmm. Cards. A bird. Oh, that's the bell. Even though this is also a bell. Tierra. It's the cup. Now, flashlight. A leaf. And a drawing. Hey, not that drawing. Uh, where is the head from the nutcracker? Flashlight. Ooh. Right here. Hmm, come on, need some items here. Give me something to work with. I need a brush to clear away the dirt. Oh, that one. Drawing of the house on fire. Hmm. And a leaf. Come on. And that's the leaf. A falling leaf. Head for the nutcracker. Where is it? I need to use a hint. Uh oh, it's right beside it. It's very close by. Alright, notebook. A notebook. Not this notebook. That one, notepad. That is not a notebook, it's a notepad. 
and I see a ripple page. If only I had a pencil. Now let's look around. A pair of clippers. And luckily I know my way around the sewing machine. This is where the fabric goes. Can I use this fabric? The silk. What am I making here? A silk skirt. And uh, a special key to open that up. And ooh, talk about a poker face, a bunny without a face, a faceless bunny. Now, oh, dream catcher. Oh, oh. So why are you still haunting this place, Amelia? Bottom part of the dream catcher. Yes, find all the parts. They only appear when the zoom zone is open. What the feathers? Well, I stand. A radio missing an antenna, I think. Can I use that here? Uh, remove the knob. Oh, what about the antenna? Goes there. I wish I knew which channel to tune into. That I don't know. Maybe it's on the notepad. So, as much as I'd like to borrow the log, I think that's supposed to be awake. Uh, and the silk skirt goes there. Hey, that matches perfectly. Right now, let's go back to the baby carriage. Yeah, this little creepy doll. Hey, a face for the rabbit, for the bunny. Now, I can also clip off the roses with this. Black roses, ooh. Really bad old man. Hey! <laughs> hey, this is a live crow! The bird just came alive! Awake inside the cage? It's the bedding for the bird. How creepy is that? Alright, here you go. A handbag. What's in it? A ballerina, needle, and a horn. And we have a pencil now. So let's see what's written on the note. One zero six nine. One zero six point nine. The radio channel. But isn't it already too late? You are dead. I can't believe people think Amelia would hurt Evelyn when the two were so close. But her husband, Frank? Amelia hated him. I think he's the one who killed Evelyn to get her family inheritance. But the cops won't listen to me. Yeah, I think so too. Frank and his mistress. Frank's a well-respected pillar of the community after all. Hmm. Listen, if you want to find out what really happened here, investigate Frank. I tell you, he's hiding something. Here, look at how Amelia drew him. She knew. My daughter knew. Uh, can you please tell me how your daughter died? That's what I want to know. Talk to Frank about the drawing. Evelyn, don't trust Frank. He is vicious. Mm, so Amelia was trying to warn Evelyn. About her husband. Hmm, there's something else inside the radio. A lens and a pump. And now we have our bobhorn. Uh, let's go scare away the crow. 